Okay, so this time I'm leaving a bit more footage in because there's a lot of paths that you have to take. And I want to make sure that you get there the right way because um, you can get lost quite easily in some of these places. So I have a goal of a thousand subs and I would really appreciate it if you do subscribe. Remember, if you don't enjoy the content anymore, you can always unsubscribe later. Also, you guys crushed the 50 like goal last video, so let's go for 55 today. Anyways, I'll let you watch the video now. Go through the green thing. And once you've arrived at this swamp, I'm gonna actually leave in the footage here sped up on the path we took. So you can kind of tell where we went. You'll just want to park the boat outside of the big green door and then we'll have some things to collect. Also, don't forget the compass because it can help you out in certain situations. So from here, there's a couple of lit up beacons in front of that house. Before you get off the boat, make sure that you have a sniper with you. So we're just going to walk along this path right here. All the way until you find a shipwreck. So you want to hop up to the shipwreck and you're going to take the Flame of Souls. You're going to need this to progress, but also to get the journals. After that, you want to hop on the Zoro boat, you can see in the picture right now. And you can just go along this path again. And once you're through here, you don't actually need this rowboat. You can use it if you want, but we found that it was a lot of struggle just to use it. So we just ended up swimming around and it was a lot quicker. So from that broken down house that's next to your parked ship, you can take the path we're taking here. You don't need the rowboat. I did. We did use it for this one. This one was fine. But after that, we definitely abandoned it. And you can see that lit up place in the distance. You're going to go there. After you're here, you want to walk up and there's going to be a torch you want to light. And it's going to reveal the first journal. It takes a second, but you'll be able to read it. So from that place, you're going to want to go east. I once again, I'll leave the path in because it was a bit confusing at first. And once you've made it here, there's going to be a torch at the top that you want to light. And this torch is going to kind of light up these other torches and you want to follow them around. Once you've arrived at the water, you're going to have to swim down and there's going to be a sunken rowboat where the journal is going to be. So from the rowboat, you're going to be swimming north, northeast. Uh, but once again, I'm going to leave the path in because this one was also a bit confusing.
and you're looking for those two cages. You'll just kind of want to walk around this rock. Up until you find this place. And after lighting the torch, you'll be able to shoot the rope of the second cage. And once it falls, the book is going to be straight in there. And that's actually the last book in the swamp. So now you can go back to your ship and climb up on this hut. And there's going to be two lanterns that you're going to have to light. Once you've done that, there's going to be some dialogue. And then you have to light the candle of all the people that do not have their candle lit. And once again, after the scene is over, you'll be able to move on. So once again here, remember that you can use the compass and it will point you towards the next location. Once you're at this fort, you're going to want to light the lantern here and follow the torches that light up. And this door is going to open eventually. The first thing you'll want to do here is light up these. This will let you jump down into the middle. And after you jumped in, you can swim all the way down and get this lockpick. But you want to swim back up afterwards because there's going to be a journal here that you want to get. You can just drop the lockpick real quick and light that torch. And that's another book. Just don't forget the lockpick after. So you want to jump back into the water and there's a little hidden entrance here. Uh, you'll want to swim out and you'll find yourself up here and then you can open that door with the lockpick. So from there, there's going to be a torch you want to light. It's this one right here. And once again, from that door, you're going to go towards this place. And you can use the lockpick again to open this door. Once you're up here, you're going to want to cut this rope. And then you can jump across, find yourself over here, and you want to go on this roof and jump through the hole. Because there's a journal in here. After that, you can just open this door and leave. Going back to the room where that ladder is. Jumping through again. And you're going to want to come to this pulley this time. So you're going to want to just pull this all the way down so you can get in the cage that comes down. It's going to raise up automatically after a little bit. You're going to have to do some parkour on this wall. Uh, <laughs> if you miss this, it's going to be a little annoying, but try your best. Hopefully you made it across there, and then you can come to this pulley and pull yourself up. Now just like from the first tale, this is the lighthouse kind of type of puzzle. And I'll show you all the beacons that we lit up. So by lighting those, you called over a phantom crew, and you're going to have to go down to the beach to fight them. After this uh, super long dialogue, there's some phantoms are going to summon, and you'll just kill them wave by wave. It's super easy. They die in a couple hits, and once you've killed the captain, you'll be able to move on. After getting on your ship, you just want to follow the beacons that lit up. The Black Pearl is also going to show up to guide you. Once you're at the end of the cave system, you'll see this fight going on, and this is the city you want to park at. So straight from the dock, we're going to go get this commendation real quick. 
Uh, you have to go up on these stairs, and there's going to be a cannon, and you'll be able to fire that at the ship. And that's the commendation. Moving on into the city, we'll come across this scene. And there's a key on that well that you want to get. If you got the key, you want to go in the clothing store, and there's going to be a journal inside. So after opening that little hatch door, you can walk through the back of this clothing store, and just follow along the path. As you're coming up on this tunnel, make sure you pay attention to the barrels with the X's on them. Because this is where a journal is going to be. After that, you can walk towards the clock tower. And here's when you're going to use the key. Open this door and go all the way up to light this torch. Going back outside from that house, you want to turn right and go to the dock to find this rowboat. This will lead to another commendation. Once you're at this point, you're going to have to jump off and open that gate. Hoping your crew doesn't leave you, you're going to want to jump back on the rowboat. And keep going up until you see this gunfight happening. And we're going to stop here to pick up a journal. After that, you want to just keep going straight up until you find some people digging on the side. You want to run over to them and dig up the treasure. Give this treasure to the two skeletons on the robot. After that, you can just keep going straight and you'll end up back at the auction. So from the auction, you want to run along this path that I'm taking here. And this will lead you to the next area. From here, there's going to be a set of stairs that go up on the side of the wall. Once you've made it all the way up, you can see these two people, and there's going to be a journal close to them. Going back down to this big gate, looking at it, there's going to be a pulley behind you. And you're going to want to use this to pull down the scaffolding. There's going to be another pulley, and this will let you pull the platform towards you. Don't pull it all the way, just pull it far enough that you can jump across. Using this next pulley, you'll be able to pull the platform back up so you can jump across again. There's going to be another pulley here, and this will let you raise the platforms you have to jump across. Be careful here, because it's pretty easy to fall. This next room you can completely ignore, and there's going to be a path along here. You're going to go through this door Jack is messing with. And for one of the combinations, you have to free those pirates right there. So after a little bit, the dog is going to start moving and you're going to want to follow its footsteps. This is going to lead you to the key. And you can use it to free the pirates. You're still going to need the key to get out of here though. Through that door, you're going to find a pulley, and you can line these platforms up like I did. Make sure that they're kind of towards the center. And to extend the last platform, there's actually going to be a rope you want to shoot through the bars here. Then you can make it through.
Once you come up on this next room here, you're going to want to use that pulley to pull up the bucket and there's going to be a key inside of it. Taking that key, you'll be able to open the door Jack just went through. After some dialogue, you'll be able to move on. At this point, there's going to be a journal coming up. You'll just jump down from here and then you can pick up the journal. Once you've gone through all the fighting, you'll just want to go back to your ship and follow the Black Pearl again.